In this lecture, we're going to discuss the Michelson-Morley experiment as well as the results obtained from that experiment that became known as the null result. But first, let's recall a very important piece of information. Now, using his theory of electromagnetism, Maxwell was able to confirm that light is in fact an electromagnetic wave that propagates with a velocity of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now, because mechanical waves such as sound waves and water waves require a medium to propagate, it was believed that light waves, electromagnetic waves, also require a medium to propagate and this medium was called ether. So ether was basically a transparent medium, an invisible medium that permeated all of space and that's exactly why light travels from the sun to the earth because of this medium that was present in between the sun and the earth. In fact, it was believed that the ether represented an absolute reference frame, a reference frame that was always at rest. Now, to test this idea, two scientists conduct an experiment that became known as the Michelson-Morley experiment. So this experiment was basically conducted to test whether or not the ether was in fact an absolute reference frame. So this experiment attempted to test the speed, the velocity of light inside the ether relative to the velocity of the earth, relative to the motion of the earth around the sun. Now, what exactly was the basis of this experiment? Now, early scientists believed that the ether was fixed, it was at rest relative to the sun. Now, if this was in fact correct, if this was true, then the speed of earth around the sun, about 30,000 meters per second, could produce a change, a shift in the speed of light in that ether. So, to see exactly what we mean, let's suppose we have the following experiment. Let's suppose we're moving on the highway inside a car with a velocity of 60 kilometers an hour. And the car right next to our car is moving with a velocity of 50 kilometers an hour. Now, if we choose the reference frame to be that other car, then the speed of our car relative to that car is only 10 meters per second. So that means the relative velocity of one car is different than the actual velocity of our car. So this is exactly the basis of the Michelson-Morley experiment. So let's look at the following diagram for just a moment, which basically describes what the experiment attempted to measure. So we have the sun and we have the ether, the medium, that is found in between the sun and the earth. So the medium between the sun and the earth was ether and it was assumed to be at rest relative to the sun. So we're assuming the sun is at rest and the ether is also at rest and the earth is moving around the following orbit around the sun with a certain velocity about 30,000 meters per second. So they basically try to test the velocity of light relative to the speed of the earth as it moves around the sun. Now, what exactly did the results show? What were the results of the Michelson-Morley experiment? Well, no change, no shift in velocity was actually found for the light. And this basically became known as the null result. Now, later, this null result was basically explained by Einstein's special theory of relativity, which deals with inertial reference frames. So Einstein proposed that the ether did not actually exist and the space between the sun and the earth was in fact empty space. It was 
a vacuum, an absence of molecules. He argued that the speed of light in a vacuum was always the same, regardless of which inertial reference frame we are using. And this basically implied that an absolute inertial reference frame did not actually exist.